So this is what we have been playing towards. It is time for our final round, which, as always, is general knowledge. But I'm afraid those of you who lost your head-to-heads won't be allowed to take part in this round. So that is James, Bodie and Benny from Burnley is Babylon. All the bees. And Chris from the Eggheads, would you please now leave the studio? Well, great game so far. And here we are, Andy and Kieran. You are playing to win. Burnley is Babylon. £4,000. Dave, Beth, Barry and Pat, you're playing for something that money can't buy, which is the Egghead's towering reputation. As usual, I will ask each team three questions in turn. This time, they're all general knowledge. You can confer, gentlemen. So the question is, can your two brains defeat these four over here? I'm sure it's possible. Andy, Kieran, do you want to go first or second? Um, when I chat about it, we're going to go first. We're going to stay with what we've done so far. So first, please, Jeremy. <laughs> All right, good luck to you both. Here we go. First question. Which of these comedians was knighted in the 2017 New Year's Honours List? Rowan Atkinson, John Cleese, or Ken Dodd? It's... Mm. Right, it's not Rowan Atkinson. We're over to you on this one, yeah, Beth. It's not Rowan Atkinson. Okay. It's definitely not John Cleese. So it's Ken Dodd. I'm, yeah. I'm bowing to Kieran's superior knowledge here, and we're, we're going to say that it's Ken Dodd. Ken Dodd is the right answer. So, Ken? Yeah. Hey, Kenson. Sean Spicer was selected by Donald Trump for which role in December 2016? Attorney General, Secretary of Defense, or White House Press Secretary? Press Secretary, everyone. Press secretary. Yeah. Yeah. Donald Trump's Press Secretary. Yes, you're right. White House Press Secretary. Back to you, challengers. Who became the Metropolitan Police's first female commissioner in 2017? Leanne Wood, Cressida Dick, or Eliza Manning and Buller? Well... Um, the name that jumps out of the media, because it's Cressida Dick. That's, that's right. right. Leon Wood is nothing to do with the police. Okay, Cressida Dick, we know, it's a yeah. high-ranking police officer. Are we, are we yeah, that? that's right, yeah. We're not totally sure, but we certainly know that she's a high-ranking police officer, so we're going to go for Cressida Dick. Cressida Dick is right. So you go ahead, eggheads, to catch up. In Greek mythology, which of these was a centaur? Chiron, Orthrus, or Echidna? Chiron, everybody. Chiron, Chiron. Yeah. Yeah. Well, was a two-headed dog, and the kidna was a monster of some description, but the centaur was Chiron. Chiron is your answer. You're correct. Your question challenges. See if you get three in a row, and the pressure will be on. I've seen them collapse before. Which musicians featured on the Clean Bandit hit Rockabye, which spent nine weeks at the top of the UK singles chart? Was it Whiskey and Kyla, Halsey and Emmo, or Sean, Paul and Anne-Marie? Right, I've Wishing we had a couple of our other members yeah. still with us. I don't, I, I, I don't think it's um, Halsey and Emmo. I don't think it's Sean, Paul See, and Anne-Marie. That's all now. Oh, right, OK. Go, go with your gut. It happens for me to Yeah. Me. <laughs> Not certain whatsoever. We think we've ruled out Halsey and them all. The, the good feeling is Sean, Paul and Anne-Marie. OK. Uh, I don't snap with any conviction. And all the record collectors are at the back of the... Uh, yes. Let's check with them. What, what's the answer here, guys? Bodie, what is it? What is it? We're, we've gone for Sean, Paul and Anne-Marie too, so hopefully we're right. You're all right. Sean, Paul and Anne-Marie it is. Well done. Very tricky <laughs> when you lose your music fans. <laughs> uh, and you get a music question. Now, hey, kids, here we are. £4,000 we're playing for, and you need to get this question right, or you have been... Given a clobbering. Which of these authors was born first? Eggheads? Stephen King, John Grisham, Michael Crichton. Hmm. Oh, they're all nasty. Oh, I've Michael John, Crichton maybe. was born in the 40s. 42-ish. I thought Grisham was the 50s. Stephen, in terms of Stephen that. King's in his, what, 60s? So, well, well his first, Stephen first, King first. was the youngest. It, this yeah. first novel was what, 70s, 74, 5? Mm. Yeah, I think Crichton was writing before that. Oh, Crichton yeah. was writing was before that. Is, yeah. he was, I think he was born in 42 or something. Like my that. gut feel must be Michael Crichton out of those. So you think Crichton is 42? I think he's he was around. And we but... can't put Stephen King be further back than that, no? I don't think yeah, so. No, 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 he's younger than that. I think he's younger. Okay, so we're all happy with Crichton then. Mm. Well, as you realise, Jeremy, we, we found this was quite a tough question, but we've. We looked at, they come to the conclusion that the oldest of all those, and therefore the one that was born first, would be Michael Crichton. The 13 years between the birth year of the first and the last born, 
Um, the youngest is John Grisham, or the, 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 the one born latest, I should say. So from 1955. Stephen King was born in 1947, Michael Crichton 1942. Well done. So you've got it right. 42 straight. And, yes. and actually, yeah. Beth <laughs> said 42 as well, well which done, is absolutely well done, brilliant. Beth. Helps if you're doing for Mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Did you, is that right? <laughs> I, did his, I did his novels. That's brilliant, Beth. Ah, OK, right. After three questions each, the scores are level. We go on to sudden death. And to make it that bit harder, you don't get alternative options. Here we go, challengers. Canterbridgeum is a noun that refers to a member or graduate of which English university? Can you spell it please? Yes, of course, it's all one word. C-A-N-T-A-B-R-I-G-I-A-N. Canterbridgeian. All one word. I've seen it. Sometimes when people have the... After the name, you'll see Cantal. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm going to think about it maybe Cambridge rather than Canterbury. It sounds like Canterbury, but I, that would be the obvious one. I'm not sure about a university than necessarily like in uh, Canterbury. So I, th I think it's actually Cambridge. I think I probably told myself for yeah. that. Brain. Um, yeah. Go with Cambridge. I think, yeah. yeah. Um, we think, again, not with much certainty, um, it's Cambridge. You did exactly the right thing there, yes, you're right, because that Cantab is the, the one you've seen after yes. the Cambridge yes. graduates. Not, yes. It sounds more like Canterbury, but it's yes. not. Yes. So Cambridge is right. Sudden death. Here we go, kids. You need this to stay in. The middle names of Princess Charlotte, born in 2015, are Elizabeth and what? Diana. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I think she was named after the famous Princess Diana. Diana is correct. Well done. Well done. Beth again. Back to your challenges. Who won the British Male Solo Artist and British Album of the Year Awards at the 2017 Brit Awards just over a year after his death? Bowie. Oh, yeah, well, the, the Brit Awards are around, around February time, yeah. aren't they? I think David Bowie died, I think it was January, January. towards the end of January. January. So working on that basis. Yeah. yeah David Bowie passed away towards the end of January, I think it was the year before. So on that basis, we'll go for David Bowie. David Bowie is right. Well done. <sighs> Eggheads, The Midnight Gang is a best-selling 2016 children's book by which author? Get this wrong, you've lost. David Jacqueline Wilson. Wilson. Oh, David. I was going on the Jacqueline Wilson end. Well, yeah. we, we don't know the actual knows. No, no, no. I've just got an idea. But if you, if you, it's if not talking, Julia Donaldson. Well, if you say Jacqueline Wilson, because she's That's more anything. likely to have written older books, yeah. with like the Tracy Beaker ones, mm. isn't she? Mm. Um, I've not heard of it. With what well, Williams's titles are more well, yeah, way he, out, like Gangster Drive. Yeah. As I said, all, all I'm saying is there that Tracy Beaker, a gang. Yeah, it's it, could of, be, it, it could be. It could be. It could be. It could tag in. We're, we're, we're grasping at straws, really. Yeah, yeah we are clutching yeah. at straws, but yeah, go on. Yeah. Okay, well, as you can tell, Jeremy, we're all at sea at this. So we're going to go for probably one of the most popular of all children's authors, and we'll go for Jacqueline Wilson. Okay, I understand the title thing. I understand that that sounds like more of a Tracy Beaker kind of title than, than say, David Williams is. Do you know this? By any chance? No, we would have said David Williams. Yeah. So. yeah. You would have been right. You've got oh, it wrong. Oh, yes, oh it is David God. Williams. We say congratulations, challengers. You have won. <laughs> there we go. You did it. Nice, methodical play. Solid in the final. That was the key thing. Well done. Congratulations to Burnley is Babylon. You've won £4,000. How are you feeling about that? Speechless, I yeah. Think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're officially cleverer than the eggheads. They're going to have a big inquiry now about what went wrong. Uh, you proved that they could definitely be beaten on children's books. Who would have thought it? Oh, and I mustn't forget, Pat, your question that you asked at the beginning. Which animal has a scientific name that translates as Harris's meat lover? Brilliant question. What's the answer? It's the Tasmanian devil. He became an object of interest, George Harris, in 1807. And he thought it was an opossum that looked like a bear and gave him a name. That name was then ruled out because the common wombat had taken that name. And in fact, about 30 years after Harris's death, a French man called it uh, Sarcophilus Harris. So it lives on in his honour. Brilliant.
Join us next time on Eggheads to see if a new team of challengers will be just as successful. Well done, Burnley. Everyone's cheering in Burnley tonight. <laughs> Until we meet again, goodbye.